This is 7 News with Sally Bowery. Good afternoon. Easter will look very different this year. That's the message from the Prime Minister as families across the country mark what is usually time spent together, now being spent very much apart. The Good Friday celebration of the Passion of Jesus Christ at St Mary's Cathedral finished a short time ago, broadcast around the country to account for the fact people could not be at church in person today. It is just the latest change to our way of life that we're now dealing with. But the government has assured all Australians these sacrifices are being made to keep each and every one of us safe from the coronavirus pandemic. Let's bring in Tim Lester now, live from Canberra. Good afternoon to you, Tim. Now, the Prime Minister was certainly very clear this Easter weekend is critical in our fight against the virus here in Australia. Yes, reinforcing that message of the need to stay home. Also, acknowledging that the next few days will be like no other Easter break many of us have ever seen. Family gatherings heavily restricted, even banned in some states, and gatherings for Easter Mass and Easter services across the country cancelled. The Prime Minister says it is a sacrifice to help support the community in its battle against this pandemic, and this is a sentiment also echoed by the opposition leader. The coronavirus means this Easter will be different and we will be staying at home. And it's important because we cannot undo the, the tremendous progress we have made together in recent times. So this Easter we are staying at home. Don't travel. Don't go away. The world faces the toughest health crisis in decades and we will face it together the Australian way. But we cannot afford complacency. And Tim, there's also been an update from the Deputy Chief Medical Officer this afternoon. What's his message to Australians? Well, pleased with the progress, certainly, but also reiterating that need to remain vigilant, that now is the not, not the time to relax measures. So far, 6,193 Australians have been infected. 54 have lost their lives to this pandemic. 79 remain in intensive care as of Good Friday, and roughly half of those are requiring ventilators. So most of the cases we've seen so far still stem from overseas travel, though the Deputy Chief Medical Officer discussed the threat of community transmissions and he says the country's slowing infection rate is promising. It's very, very important to stay the course at the moment. Uh, it is not time to take the foot off the brake um, and we need to really consider uh, how to go to the next phase very carefully uh, and weigh up the pros and cons of all of that. Emphasising really that the uh, restrictions that we now all face are not at the moment under consideration for lifting. He says it is clear that our borders will remain closed for some time and that elusive vaccine that might relax all of those restrictions is still a long way off. OK, thank you very much, Tim Lester, for us in Canberra this afternoon. New South Wales has recorded yet another coronavirus death with the passing of a 69-year-old man in Newcastle. Chris Maher is following the story. Chris, there's a new cluster of cases in Western Sydney as the city bunkers down for a very quiet Easter. Well, this fencing just erected along the famous coastal walk near Bondi is a stark reminder to Sydney siders just how different this long weekend really is. Now, the state government and the federal government say the holidays are a crucial period in this fight against COVID-19 and the attempt to ensure the public observe social distancing rules. Today there was an update on just how difficult that campaign is with a small increase in the number of new infections in New South Wales. Cases have gone up to 49 in the last 24 hours. That still reflects a great effort by our community. There are now 22 deaths in the state after a 69-year-old man passed away at the John Hunter Hospital in Newcastle. It's believed he contracted the virus while visiting Queensland recently. 211 COVID patients are in hospitals in the state, 29 of those in intensive care. Health authorities are encouraged by an increase in numbers being tested for COVID, reminding the public that testing sites are fully operational over Easter. Our services are open over the Easter period 
and I would urge you to continue to access those services. Police have condemned recent racially directed incidents linked to COVID in the community, including a 55-year-old man who is facing charges for cracking a whip outside the Chinese consulate and more Australians are being repatriated tonight in mercy flights from the US as the public here, except those grabbing some exercise, are spending their Easter long weekends at home. To Victoria now, where there's been another drop in coronavirus cases. Melina Saras joins us live from Melbourne this afternoon. Hello to you, Melina. The social distancing measures appear to be working. They do, Sally. Health experts here are amazed at how quickly Victorians have adapted to a new way of life. A man in his 80s died overnight, taking our death toll to 13, but Victoria recorded just 13 new cases of coronavirus over the past 24 hours. That's the lowest number since March the 15th. Our numbers have been steadily declining for a week now. Police have been out in force, making sure everyone is obeying those social distancing restrictions. In the past Last 24 hours, police checked 750 homes, businesses and non-essential services. They've issued 98 more fines. So far, they've conducted more than 18,000 spot checks in total. Among those booked, nine youths who were holding a private gathering. A man was also fined for washing his car at a car wash in Hopper's Crossing at one o'clock this morning. But police have since reviewed that fine and withdrew the infringement earlier today. They have been at Victoria's coastal spots as well. We've had reporters from Lawn right around to the peninsula and it's been really quiet out there. So it is good to see that most people are obeying those restrictions. Sally. OK, thank you very much. Melina Saris reporting there. The minister at the centre of a social distancing scandal is under growing pressure to quit. New South Wales Arts Minister Don Harwin has been fined $1,000 for going to his holiday home. Peter Fegan is outside his Sydney residence. Peter, you've spoken to some of Don Harwin's colleagues. Yeah, I have, Sal, both on and off camera. And for the most part, they're all sharing the same sentiments. They want Don Harwin to come out of his apartment, face the cameras and make a more public apology. But they don't just want him to apologise to the public. They want an apology too. Many of them feel as if the Arts Minister put them all at risk when he was in contact with former Liberal Party candidate Geoffrey Winters. Winters, who returned from overseas on the 17th of March, was meant to isolate for two weeks. He was caught staying with Don Harwin at his Central Coast holiday home. Yes, he's an idiot. Uh, you can't set standards for others and then breach them yourself. Now, Sal, there's no suggestions Winters has coronavirus, but on the 23rd and 24th of March, Don Harwin did attend Cabinet meetings and sat in Parliament. Seven News has put a list of questions to the Minister, asking him what precautions he took to ensure he wasn't infected with COVID-19 before entering both Parliament and that Cabinet meeting, and we are still waiting for a response. It's a tough time for ordinary citizens in New South Wales, and there shouldn't be a, a special set of rules for a Minister who's looking after himself instead of the public interest. Now, as for Geoffrey Winters, police have said inquiries as to whether he's self-isolated or not are still ongoing. But, Sal, as we know, the Premier has backed Harwin, saying technically he had gone to the Central Coast before restrictions were in place. Gladys Berejiklian says, however, she is bitterly disappointed. But despite his excuses, the police were here yesterday and issued the Minister with a $1,000 fine. So, Sal, now the Premier may have no choice but to ask her Minister to step down. So. All right, thank you, Peter. Still to come in the afternoon news on 7, Boris Johnson out of ICU but still in hospital. We have the latest on the British PM's fight against coronavirus and the cutting-edge test telling you whether you have the virus in minutes, not days. That's still to come. Sunday is the night. The Gold Coast penthouse is complete. Good job, Mumsy. So proud of us. I love this. Really sophisticated. This is stunning. The Gold Coast Penthouse final reveal. House rules Sunday at 7 on 7. With Allianz Comprehensive Car Insurance, we guarantee all the repairs we authorise. Hey, good to go. Looks great. Uh... Get that 
Leon's feeling. Call or search for a quote today. Feed the family with Hungry Jack's new family bundle. Treat yourself with two Whoppers, two cheeseburgers, four small chips, four Cokes, ten nuggets and sauce, only $24.95. Get takeaway, drive through or delivery at Hungry Jack's. Right now at Target, get 20% off toys from these big brands like Lego, Nerf, Barbie, Fisher-Price and more. Now on at Target. Offer ends April 26 in selected stores and online. Conditions apply. At TIO, we know these are very challenging times for everyone. We'd like you to know we're here to support you. While we all stay home to protect each other, we'll keep you covered if you're in hardship. Talk to us about our financial relief and support options. Our contact centres are open and ready to take your call. From all of us at GIO, please stay safe and stay well. Call us on 13 10 10 or visit gio.com.au. You know with GIO. Don't let this great offer pass you by. Get paid the best towed price on all Xactors, Quinellas, Trifectas, First Fours and Quaddies every Saturday in Melbourne and Sydney this Autumn Carnival. Bet easy. Raise your game. Do you have heartburn or indigestion? Gaviscon Dual Action relieves them both. It works fast. Two ways. It neutralises excess stomach acid and it forms a protective barrier to help stop stomach acid from rising. Gaviscon Dual Action. At Spotlight, Easter's what you make it. So decorate it, celebrate it and create it for less with 40 to 50% off all ready-to-hang indoor roller blinds and 30 to 40% off all ready-to-hang curtains. Shop online now and in-store tomorrow. At Spotlight, it's what you make it. Jeez. Sorry, you had the jab. Wouldn't it be nice oh, if we were old and we wouldn't have to wait so long? Wouldn't it be nice to live together in the kind of world we belong? Wouldn't it be nice? Play now in store at thelot.com or on the Lot app. With Belong, you get 10 gigs of mobile data for $25 a month. That's 10 gigs of family time, 10 gigs of scrolling through memory lane, 10 gigs of staycations or 10 gigs of catching up with the family. Plus, unlimited international calls and texts to selected countries for $5 extra. We all spend family time differently. Together, we're different. Belong. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has been moved out of intensive care. He'll continue his treatment in hospital as the UK continues its battle with the growing coronavirus crisis. Hugh Whitfeld reports from London. After spending four nights in St Thomas's here in London and three nights in the ICU, Boris Johnson, it seems, is beginning his road to recovery. Downing Street releasing a statement saying the Prime Minister has been moved from intensive care back to the ward where he will receive close monitoring during the early phase of his recovery. He is in extremely good spirits and no doubt there is extreme relief among his colleagues in government, many of whom were quite shocked when they heard news that Boris Johnson had been put into intensive care. He does though remain in hospital of course and it is likely that his recovery will take some weeks before of course he can return to full time work. That news came through about 45 minutes before we saw these uplifting scenes right across Britain. Millions of people, whether it be on Westminster Bridge here in central London, on balconies, front doorsteps, on the streets, right across the country, even uh, at this apartment block that is just across the road uh, from St Thomas's, where Boris Johnson remains on the ward, applauding those half a million health workers across Britain who are working to fight off the uh, coronavirus threat. They have a big task, though, in the last 24 hours. 881 people have been killed by the virus here in Britain. That brings the national death toll to just shy of 8,000. And while ever that death toll continues to rise at such a rate and the rate of infection remains relatively high, this country will remain in a, quite a severe lockdown for the foreseeable future, including right throughout the Easter weekend. Thank you, Hugh. Well, a Melbourne man is not letting the coronavirus crisis stand in the way of running a marathon for charity. Helped by his family in self-isolation, Jim Poussard ran the full 42 kilometres today around his house. Nick McCallum was there. 
You could argue all marathons are mad, but this, this has to be the maddest marathon of them all. No lockdown could stop Jim Poussard running a marathon to raise money for today's Royal Children's Hospital appeal. Go Jim! We had to put our thinking caps on and we came up with the home marathon. An 80 metre course, past the washing line, past the barbie, past the veggie patch and through the garage, time after time after time we have to do 528 laps. 88. So Susan, is your husband nuts? Uh, yes, <laughs> absolutely nuts. No, I'm enjoying it, it's good fun. Go Jim! Jim's now nine-year-old daughter Georgia had a life-saving operation at the Royal Children's as an infant. And that's why he's putting himself through this ordeal. I love how he is doing it to give back to the hospital and how he's doing it running, because he loves that. Normally it takes Jim four hours to run the 42 kilometres. Today it took six. No, it is hard um, when you're just going around in circles. Jim has now completed almost 60 marathons and he says this was the toughest of the lot. Mm, what a legend. Next in Seven's Afternoon News, calls to end the lockdown in South Australia as infection rates stabilise. See how the government responded. Plus, how the coronavirus has affected trading over Easter. See what's open. And it's for Jim Wilson and NRL champs. Timely warning ahead of next month's resumption. Wreck of Lamb reinvented. Fast Ed's simple secret to add massive flavour. Really, really straightforward. New Better Homes tonight. Come on, everyone. Donate some of your data to kids who need it most and power their potential. Me? Feel masterful. Sultana brand. Full on days start with full on fibre. Hyundai Kona. Way more fun than your car. Since Dyson invented this cordless vacuum format, they've improved it relentlessly. Now, they've gone big. Its cleaner head is 25% wider for faster deep cleaning and dynamic load sensing technology that intelligently adapts to different floor types to optimize power and runtime. Plus a bin that's 150% larger, so you can clean more before emptying. Only a Dyson works like a Dyson. It's Tab's 42 Days of Deals with a Quaddy Special for the Championships. It's your chance to win a share of the $1 million projected pool at Randwick. Check the app for more great deals. Tab, long may we play. Gamble responsibly. With Ryobi One Plus, One Plus U equals anything you can imagine. In fact, one battery powers over 100 tools. So One Plus U equals endless possibilities. Drill Driver Kit 179, available at Bunnings Warehouse. Your dream home can slip through your fingers without the right plan. But with home loan know-how from your local Rams Home Loan Specialist, we'll help you take the right steps to make your dream home possible. Walk like a ram and talk to us today. Rams, greater together. Special K, rise with us. Rise with protein for muscle. Rise with iron for energy. Set goals, then kick them. Special K. 
empowering you. NRMA Insurance has always been committed to helping Australians. And while you're at home during this time, our customer care team remains on hand, continuing to help as we always will. The South Australian Premier says he has no plans to relax lockdown laws despite the rate of infection slowing. Yesterday, just one new case was identified. We can't be complacent, that's why this Easter we're just urging everybody to stay at home, don't go away, make sure that we can look after each other through this very difficult time. Three people have died in the state and six people are currently in intensive care. Time for sport now with Jim Wilson. Hello to you, Jim. Hi, and Sal. some common sense advice from an NRL champ today. Yeah, very timely, Sal. Good afternoon to you. Afternoon, everyone. Canberra Raiders captain Jared Croker is pleading with footy fans to stay home this weekend if they want the NRL season to resume. Rugby League power brokers are aiming for an ambitious May 28 restart to the season, but that could change if there is a spike in the virus infection rate. Exact details for the season are still to be sorted out, but if all goes to plan, full contact training will begin within the month. Everyone gets knocked down from time to time. Uh, and you have two choices. You uh, either give up or you get up. So we, we've decided to get up. Our stakeholders are pulling together. Um, the May 28 is a challenging timeline, but it's something that we believe we can work to. Wayne Pearce here, the ARL Commissioner, on Sunrise this morning. Now, and some exciting news for the Pearce clan. Wayne's son and Newcastle captain Mitchell has announced his engagement to partner Kristen on social media. Australia's two-match series in Bangladesh scheduled for June has officially been postponed. The Aussies tour was slated to count for points in the new World Test Championship with the inaugural final planned for June next year. Overseas, UFC President Dana White's plan to charge ahead despite the global health crisis has been shut down with all UFC events postponed indefinitely. Earlier in the week, White declared he had locked in a location for the next two months to stage fights and was close to sealing a deal to stage the fights on a private island. While world sports attention is normally on Augusta this weekend, Adam Scott set home on the Sunshine Coast using a makeshift setup to stay sharp. Unthinkable before this year, the staunchly traditional Masters have been postponed to November. They're not going to do anything uh, crazy. They're just going to want to put on a great tournament just like if it were in April. It's now 53 days since Scott surged back to world number six and became a big fancy to win his second green jacket. For the first time in 60 years, we have Easter without the famous surfing contest at Bells Beach in Victoria. But America's world number three, Aki Peterson, isn't missing out altogether. She's now a Bells local after marrying an Aussie. Go to the beach, go for your surf and go home. Don't really dilly-dally and keep your distance from everyone. There are hopes to reschedule Bells to spring. I win right now on the championship tour. So it's weird just not having it, but being here and just seeing the forecast. Peterson and her fellow tour pros are backing World Surf League's Stay Local campaign to help small businesses. It's one of the best days of racing on the calendar with four Group 1s on day two of the Star Championships at Royal Randwick in Sydney tomorrow. Doncaster winner Natoya is backing up in the Group 1 Coolmore Legacy Stakes over 1,600 metres. Glenn Boss has the ride despite James Innes riding the mare to victory in last Saturday's Doncaster. If Bossy wasn't booked for this weekend, he'd be on it. Like, but, he, but Bossy has to stick with the ride because I've committed and the owners have committed for, for, her, for him to ride in this campaign. The championships are live and free on 7 tomorrow morning from 11.30 Eastern. Just check your local guide. Sal, that's the horse, Natoya, who loves the um, Supreme Pizza. Lo loves a pizza. Very good choice. All right, thanks for that, Jim. Good on you. Thanks, Sal. Don't go anywhere. Our top stories are just ahead. We just brought you the Good Friday celebration of the Passion of Jesus Christ live across the country. See what other events will be different this weekend. Plus, how the coronavirus has impacted shopping this Easter. See what's still open. Police cracking down on people flouting lockdown laws. Could you be risking a fine? And results in just one hour. The simple and quick way to see whether you have coronavirus. That's coming up. Easter is upon us and boy, it's uh, certainly going to be a different way to celebrate Easter than we're used to. Make sure you spread the love, spread heaps and heaps of love. But whatever you do, make sure you keep the Easter eggs to yourself. Share the Easter spirit, but don't share my chocolates. Remember.
together. We're going to get through this. We are all in this together. You are not in this alone. Take good care of yourselves. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. When unexpected guests arrive, don't panic. Use Airwick plugins infused with essential oils. Just plug it in to neutralize smells for freshness that lasts up to 100 days. Come in. Airwick plugins. Domain stores are open this Easter. Our team are taking care to ensure everyone's safety in store. Shop for the essentials like mattresses, Manchester, sofa beds, home office furniture and more. Our range includes the best of Australian made furniture and bedding. Make it yours and lend local manufacturers your support. Plus until Easter Monday only, you can buy on no deposit, 60 months interest free at Domain and receive a bonus gift card. Domain stores are open. Please take care and have a happy Easter. Because sometimes it's more than just growing pains. Pupa offers an online program to help you manage your mental well-being. Pupa, because life happens. Call today. Save up to 15% on your first year's premium when you get a new Allianz Comprehensive Car Insurance Policy online. Hey, good to go. Uh... Uh... Thanks. Get that uh... Leon's feeling. Search for a quote today. Head to Macca's fast, contact-free drive through if you need a little comfort and get two hash browns for just $2 all day or a classic hamburger for only $1.50. For your Macca's run, contact-free will be here. One of my favourite things about Bed Easy is all of the perks. Like watching every Sydney race live so you can watch all the action from the Sydney Autumn Racing Carnival anywhere, anytime. Bed Easy, raise your game. Right now, Maya has Easter treats for everyone available online. With 20% off Barbie, Disney Frozen, Fisher-Price, FAO Schwartz and more. And 40% off a great range of quilt covers, sheets, towels, quilts and pillows. Maya, my store. This is 7 News with Sally Bowery. Welcome back to our Martin Place headquarters. These are our top stories on 7. The Prime Minister has warned all Australians not to get complacent this Easter, saying this weekend could make or break our fight against COVID-19. Police are already out in force, making sure people adhere to social distancing laws this weekend. The virus has caused widespread disruption to many events we usually enjoy at this time of the year. We broadcast the Good Friday Mass at St Mary's Cathedral in Sydney a short time ago to thousands around the country unable to attend church. And still to come, a cutting-edge new test has been shown off here in Australia. It's capable of delivering a result in minutes instead of days. We'll show you how it works soon. Across the country, Easter will be marked in a very different fashion this year thanks to restrictions put in place for the coronavirus pandemic. Let's bring in Miley Hogan now, who is live at St Mary's Cathedral in Sydney where the Good Friday celebration of the Passion of Jesus Christ was just held. Good afternoon to you, Miley. It was certainly a very different Good Friday Mass this year. Sally, it was for a tradition that has lasted the ages. Today was a first. Near empty churches for the Good Friday service. Instead, thousands of people tuning in from home, watching the service broadcast live on television or on their devices. Now, coronavirus is the reason that people could not physically attend those services. And it was also the centre of the address. The Archbishop here at St Mary's Cathedral addressing the anxiety that the virus is causing through the community. People worried about their health, worried about their jobs. He also praised frontline staff and scolded the actions of those panic buying. Today I stand in an empty cathedral looking into a camera. Beyond the lens are thousands of you across the country in a living cathedral made up of TV rooms and home offices. There was a similar message from church leaders or from all of them today trying to help their community feel connected to the church while they can't physically be here in this time. Sally. OK, thanks very much, Miley. And in a 7 News First, we'll broadcast Easter Sunday Mass live from St Mary's Cathedral from 10.30 on Sunday, straight after weekend sunrise.
It's been a Good Friday like no other, with heavy restrictions put in place at the Sydney fish markets and supermarkets across the country. Serena and Alora was at the fish markets in Sydney. Hello to you, Serena. How's it been there today? Good afternoon, Sal. Well, police are directing a steady flow of traffic around Sydney's famous fish markets, trying to ensure everyone is keeping a safe social distance. But it's quite the challenge, given this is usually one of the busiest places in the country on Good Friday. But each customer, as they enter, is having their temperature checked. The fish markets are open from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m., a marathon today. The number of people inside is being limited. They're trying to avoid that usual crowd crush. It's surreal. It just doesn't feel like what we're used to in Sydney. So. We just bought a whole heap of seafood and we're going to go and have a seafood banquet with the family. It was lots of fun. It was lots of fun. Yeah. It was really good, wasn't it? We got some always fun. great yeah. food and everybody's really happy. Now, for the first time, our major supermarkets are allowed to trade in some states. Coles is open from 11am in New South Wales, the ACT and the Northern Territory, while Woolworths is open from 11am to 5pm in New South Wales and the ACT. Aldi stores across the country are closed and stores elsewhere in other states are also closed. Local businesses, pubs, clubs, cafes have also been permitted to trade today in New South Wales. They'll be allowed to sell takeaway. Hopefully the extra day of trade helps them, Sal. All right, thanks, Serena. The public appears to have largely got the message from state and federal leaders not to leave home this holiday weekend, with major roads out of Sydney largely deserted. As Tom Saker reports from Avoca on the Central Coast, that is just what police and locals want. Well, Sally, police say most people are complying with the stay-at-home orders at the beginning of the Easter long weekend. And locals here in coastal communities like Avoca are also being vigilant on the lookout for any Easter holiday visitors. Just stay home. Just bond together, be families and realise that we're all taking care of each other. While most roads are ghostly quiet for a Good Friday, Highway Patrol officers are out in force conducting registration checks and questioning drivers about where they are headed and fining non-essential travellers $1,000 each. These people um, need to be sent a very clear message that it won't be tolerated. It won't be tolerated by the police or the community. A 31-year-old man mustn't have been aware of police checks at all at the New South Wales-Queensland border after he tried to drive into Queensland with 93 kilograms of cannabis and $4,300 cash in his truck. The drugs have a street value of almost half a million dollars and on top of the serious charges he's now facing, he was issued a $1,300 fine for disobeying the public health orders. Police are also patrolling the waterways across the state here on the central coast at the entrance. They're telling jet skis to go home. Police have handed out more than 50 fines in the past 24 hours and they hope the mostly good behaviour continues as the weather improves over the long weekend. Thanks, Tom. Well, nobody is more important in the fight against COVID-19 than our health professionals and few are at greater risk. Evan Batten joins us from Gosford, north of Sydney, where a local outbreak has infected a number of healthcare workers. Evan, how far has this cluster spread? Well, Sally, it's perhaps not surprising at all, but very concerning nonetheless that we now having coronavirus clusters breaking out at hospitals, our front line in the battle against coronavirus. Confirmation overnight that here at Gosford Hospital, this cluster did in fact start with one healthcare worker, a doctor or nurse who then infected two of their patients, four of their family members, and then five of their colleagues, a total of 12 people going down with coronavirus and ending up in isolation. We're redoubling our efforts to make sure that um, personal protective equipment and other ways of dealing with this uh, transmission of this very infectious virus uh, is, is done in the, in the best way to protect our healthcare workers. We're certainly hearing a number of other stories of clusters at hospitals around the country, but here at Gosford Hospital, they've been able to turn what was a threat into an opportunity to beat the coronavirus. Just to be clear, that, that ward was actually closed for a very short period of a couple of hours, which allowed that sort of higher level cleaning that we do to ensure that there's no, um, no other pas patients are at risk. So just to reiterate, Sally, a total of six healthcare workers now from Gosford Hospital in isolation. 
They do want to stress the point that at no point was Gosford Hospital closed down, but it does tell us that if there was any doubt about the threat that our frontline healthcare workers are facing, this totally blows that out of the water. Sal. Thanks, Evan. Hundreds of cruise ship passengers in quarantine in Western Australia will finally be allowed to leave their accommodation this evening. But many who live interstate have told Seven News they still feel trapped because even once they're out, they can't get home. Tom Hartley reports. More than 200 Queenslanders were aboard the Vasco da Gama, which docked in Perth almost a fortnight ago. Well, they were shuffled off the ship, which had no reports of COVID-related illnesses, onto buses and into luxury hotels. We've spoken with several passengers who feel like they've been kept in the dark this whole time, claiming the government there hasn't given them any clear direction or timely information. Let's take a listen. One minute we're told one thing, then the next, it's the ex absolute opposite. Quite we're, a few of us are nurses. We're both nurses and, and yeah. we know a lot of people on the ship that were nurses and we're all very keen to get back to our jobs to assist in, in you know, tre helping treat this pandemic. I would say for myself, for wife and lots of friends, this is uh, about the equivalent of uh, being in an internment camp uh, during the Second World War. The way we've been treated, there has not been one bit of communication well, this afternoon they were told they're free to leave their hotels at 4.30 Perth time but they still don't know when they can get home. The next direct flight from Perth to Brisbane is scheduled for April 24. That's a fortnight from now. And once those Queenslanders finally return home, there's still some confusion as to what they're supposed to do. Do they have to go back into quarantine or are they free to return straight to their homes? Coming up on Seven's Afternoon News, how you could get your coronavirus test results in under an hour. And it is 20 degrees in Sydney. Brownie has the weather forecast soon. Every night, the latest answers all your critical questions. Weeks of doubt for millions of school students has come to an end. The experts. We haven't had the unrestricted growth that we see in other countries. What you need to know. Australia in an incredible position. Police have started their investigation. Get the latest from 7 News every night. A message to all of our APIA customers. There's no doubt that we're living in challenging times, but we're here to support you. While we all stay home to protect each other, we'll help keep you covered if you're in hardship. Talk to us about our financial relief and support options. Our contact centres are fully resourced and our dedicated specialists ready to help. Call us on 13 50 50. From everyone in the APIA family, take care and stay safe. We know that nature provides the best and it's only natural to want what's best for your toddler. 100% grass-fed milk is better by nature. It's free from palm oil, GMO and growth hormones. 100% grass-fed milk encourages growth and development whilst gentle on baby's tummy and easy to digest. So you have the peace of mind knowing you've made the natural choice. 100% grass-fed milk made in New Zealand, better by nature. If you're craving the taste of your favourites, head to Macca's for a fast, safe and contactless drive through experience. For your Macca's run, contact free, we'll be here. It's Tab's 42 Days of Deals with a Quaddy Special for the Championships. It's your chance to win a share of the $1 million projected pool at Randwick. Check the app for more great deals. Tab, long may we play. Gamble responsibly. When cold and flu symptoms strike, a kiss can make them feel better. But for effective relief through the night, there's Nurofen for children. Starts to reduce fever from 15 minutes and lasts for up to eight hours. Nurofen for children. Over 16,500 New South Wales police are out there. And police vehicles can detect drivers speeding anywhere, anytime. Speeding? You can stop it or cop it. Doc is an emotional intelligence expert. When it comes to value, Doc likes to pay the right price for the right product. That's why he likes Yui. You can tailor your premium so you pay the right price. Yui. You. Insured. Here's something extra from Hyundai. Right now, across Hyundai's petrol and diesel SUV range, get a generous cash back on the SUV style, performance and safety features you need. Because right now, we know a little goes a long way. 
Most teams wouldn't dare to do it. Really? Will it smash the record books? Anything can happen. The Chase, weekdays on 7. The COVID-19 pandemic has seen thousands of Australian couples put their dream weddings on hold. One couple who couldn't wait to tie the knot have come up with a solution. They've pulled off a virtual wedding in just 24 hours with all their friends and family watching on. This isn't how Chris and Rebecca Cohen planned to celebrate their wedding day. So I'm just trying to create a watch party on my phone for anyone following from my friends. The pair were due to wed in May, but COVID-19 put a halt on their plans. Instead, they opted for a virtual wedding, inviting friends and family to celebrate from a distance through Facebook. Before we begin, I need to remind you of the importance of keeping your distance and loving each other from afar. In just 24 hours of preparation, almost 200 guests attended their online ceremony. Chris's mother became the celebrant. Let's see how creative you can be with your toe taps, your heart pumps and your elbow nudges. Messages were shared from loved ones who couldn't be there. Granny and I wish that COVID-19 had never happened, don't we all? Yeah. We wish that ScoMo and Danny Boy had not been forced to come down so hard on freedom of movement. Before the moment they were all waiting for. It is now my very great pleasure and privilege to publicly pronounce you husband and wife. And as the saying goes, it isn't official until it's Facebook official. Either way, cheers. Cheers. Sarah Jones, 7 News. An Australian first coronavirus test, which returns results in under an hour, has just been secured by Sydney's St Vincent's Hospital. However, the US-developed test will only be given to patients who are critically ill because it is in short supply. The advantage of the molecular test is that we're able to detect someone who has only been exposed within one or two days of the virus. Health authorities say several tests are being worked on. Next in Seven's Afternoon News, David Round joins us with your latest forecast. Do you uh, forget your shirt or are you just trying to get everyone's attention? What's a girl got to do to get the guy? I have seriously lost my mojo. A woman can't wait forever. Try flirting. Looks like a man who'd be good with his hands. Yeah, nothing comes to mind. Try yelling. I like you! I mean, what's a girl got to do? I just need a different tactic. Or don't say anything. Hey. get rid of me that easily. I'll have to work harder then. One approach will work, but which one? I believe in second chances. Do you like me to? Home and Away returns Easter Monday at 7. Discover your connections to the men and women who served our country. Learn how old they were and the battles they fought. Connect with the people and places that led to you. Start searching for free at ancestry.com.au. Are you confident you can cover your living costs in retirement? A Challenger Lifetime Annuity can complement your existing retirement income, giving you guaranteed income for life. Find out more at challenger.com.au. Ah, oh, little Bella's home with a newfound friend. Luckily, with Pino Clean Laundry Sanitizer, it doesn't matter where that's been. Because unlike detergent alone, which doesn't get rid of all germs, it removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria. It's not clean unless it's Pino Clean. What if you're missing information that could affect your child's future? Like important information about meningococcal disease. A rare but potentially deadly and devastating illness, most common in infants and adolescents. Missing information could mean missing out on a whole lot more. Speak to your doctor for more information on meningococcal disease and how you can help protect your family. With McDelivery, Macca's comes to you. With contact-free options, you can enjoy all your Macca's favourites, delivered to you via the Uber Eats app and Deliveroo. How's that for serenity? Can care be better at home? Oh, it's sanctuary. Your home's a bit of a sanctuary. Yeah, for me, rehab at home, uh, it, it gave me a huge amount of flexibility to be able to do the things I wanted to do. It allowed me to 
unstress and be in the moment in your house in your own comfort zone, which was really good for me and my state of mind. Search Medibank at home to see how we're creating better choices for our members. Pay less every day at The Good Guys. Online offer up to $100 store credit on selected portable appliances. This DeLonghi coffee machine, $7.99. This air fryer, four two nine. dollars This DeLonghi coffee machine, eight eight eight. Only at The Good Guys. $60,000. The risk. Look, I've chatted with the team. Is massive. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Most teams wouldn't dare to do it. Yep. No, I'm... Will it smash the record books? It's it? all like that. Anything can happen. The Chase. Weekdays on 7. This weather report brought to you by The Good Guys. Contactless home delivery now available. Pay less every day at The Good Guys. An 87-year-old woman who's been in isolation for a month and is missing her outings to the shops has had the supermarket come to her. Her son and his family mocked up a coal supermarket with cereal milk, even toilet paper on offer. Give him your card so you can pay for it and he'll give you a receipt. Have a good day, madam. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The woman who has Alzheimer's came prepared. She even had a shopping list. David Brown joins me now and he has the latest forecast. Good afternoon, Brown. He yeah, and I do. also have a shopping list as well, yes, Sally. But yes. no toilet paper, none of us. Yeah, it's hard to find, <laughs> isn't it? Look, uh, we've got some showers and storms rumbling over the eastern part of New South Wales as we go to air. And temperature-wise, let's have a look at current conditions. You'll notice it's sitting on 24 degrees in Brisbane. Sydney at the moment, 22 degrees. Melbourne, a little bit cooler. It's 21. There is a change on the way, but Perth is the one that stands out. Summer-like heat again for the fifth consecutive day. 35 degrees right now. So we go to the satellite. This is the active trough that's driving storms, as you can see. Got some rain in the mix as well. It's all heading towards the eastern seaboard. To the south, though, strong cold front. It's racing across the Southern Ocean. The system will hit the southern states tomorrow, followed by a burst of very cold air. Snow showers are likely on the Alpine peaks. Yes, you can tell winter's not far away. As we have a look at the forecast for the major centres tomorrow, another hot day is expected in Perth though, 37 degrees. Yes, lots of sunshine as well. Cooler in Adelaide, some showers and around 19 degrees. Melbourne though, 15 tomorrow, showers, local hail and thunder. 14 degrees expected in Hobart, also some showers for Sydney. Very windy, warm ahead of that change, clear skies, 26 degrees. A west to southwesterly change coming through around a bit mid-afternoon the temperature will then drop as i said 26 ahead of it warm in brisbane around 31 degrees as we go to easter sunday for that easter egg hunt it will be uh, fine in sunny in sydney around 21 degrees although somewhat cooler clearing up in melbourne cloudy in around 16 perth relief from the heat 27. that's latest weather more at six okay Sally. thanks for that brownie and that is 4pm news for this friday we'll have all the latest stories in seven news at six i'm sally barry stay with seven now for the chase australia i hope you have a great night and a safe easter weekend bye for now